Hi, everyone. I'm Steve here with Brian Sanchez. He's in our uh, studio at Fitness for 10 in Carson City. Thanks for being here, Brian. Thank you, Steve. Let's have some fun. All right. We're going to talk about a little bit of gym culture, you know, health, fitness, culture. And I don't know, this was a couple months ago. I was I was uh, watching a short by this guy who's pretty popular and he really prides himself on being fit and eating healthy and he's pretty hardcore dude. And uh, he, uh, you know, he, I just, I, I like his content. Right. And he was saying that he was riding his bike somewhere and these two fat guys in a convertible drove by him and started fit shaming him. Oh, look at that guy. He's got muscles riding his bike. What a dork. <laughs> um, like really, <laughs> you know, what, what does this world come to where fat people shame fit people? What is going on? Well, I, I think we're seeing a lot of changes in culture that are interesting nowadays. Uh, to me, look, I don't see any room to shame anybody for any reason. I don't. Uh, right. Whether you're fat, thin, middle, tall, short, you know, whatever. There's no room for that uh, in a gym. And really in life. There's no re reason for us to, to hurt another because we think they're different than us. But to shame people that are in excellent physical condition, in my mind, is ridiculous. And the reason I say that is, if I walked up to somebody that was, you know, 300 pounds overweight and I shamed them for that, that would really break their heart. If I was 300 pounds overweight and I was shaming somebody that is 13.7% body fat, that would really break their heart. Why do we do this to ourselves? What in our culture makes it okay or not okay to be fit? I'm not understanding this. Now, I get nowadays you see things where people are saying bravo to the larger people that are, you know, posing for photos and things like that. Why is it not okay for people who are extremely fit to do the same thing and to take pride and to be brave and go shirtless on a magazine cover? What's wrong with that? You, you have to absolutely appreciate and I'm nowhere near that. We talk about this in our videos. I don't got a six pack. I don't look like Steve. I'm not shredded like him. I got a two pack. I, I know. <laughs> I know just how hard it is to keep the level of fitness I do. And I'm dragging it at least five days a week. And I'm in here crushing and going at it. The amount of effort and discipline and positive energy that it takes to get yourself into maximal condition of a body and to maintain your health at a high level. Come on, man. That's almost unmeasurable. It is so impressive for people that do that and to shame them because they're in impeccable condition is to me absurd. Now, I don't know if in, in the upbringing that you were brought up in or in your lifestyle or in your role in life, whether or not you're allowed these opportunities to exercise, whether or not it's okay for you to do this. Look, I get there can be some pressures that might limit you from having that option or that opportunity. But as you, if you watch our videos, Steve and I both can tell you, you don't need anything to exercise. You can just walk out your front door. You don't even have to leave your house, but you can just walk out your front door walk to the mailbox and walk back. And that's exercise in my mind. So we know we have every opportunity in the world to create a better image of ourselves, a positive image. Now I'm not saying for the haters out there that being heavy is a negative image. Okay. Don't, don't twist those words because I'm a heavy guy. All right. But my approach to my size, I don't demean Steve because he's got a, a better figure than me. 
A you figure. Know, uh -huh. How do you like that yes. one? Uh -huh. You know how I made him dainty? You're, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> and, and, and he doesn't shame me because I'm a portly Peruvian. He's not worried about that. And this is where we got to get past ourselves. So with everybody, knock it off. Let's not shame people who are in incredible condition. They have put in so much effort hiring chefs, following food programs, diligent, diligent on their time usage in the gym. They're, they're hiring trainers, hiring coaches, some of them getting on stage, some of our trainers that are getting ready for their show this weekend. These people have done so much work to get themselves there, and they look stunning. They've earned every bit of that. And yes, they might walk tall. Yes, they have some pride because they've earned it. And there's nothing wrong with it, Steve. You know, I think shaming people, whether you're shaming someone who's overweight or shaming someone who's really fit, it's, it comes down to one thing. Whether you're shaming them or attacking them in anything, it's insecurity. People who are insecure shame people. The two fat guys in the convertible are shaming the fit guy on the bike because they're insecure. Right. They, they want to drag him down. And insecurity is poison. It's absolute poison. When you're confident, it's completely different. Confident people who like themselves, they don't shame people. It's the people who are insecure that shame people. Even the fit guy or gal who shames the fat person, I believe they're shaming that fat person because they're still insecure. They're fit, but they're still insecure. Maybe they're insecure because the fat person's getting all the attention and they're mad about it. But in, in one way or another, they're insecure if they're shaming a fat person. I mean, I just, I don't see what else it could be. And insecurity is poison. I agree with you. Be confident, everybody. Get to that gym. Start developing yourself in a positive way. You know, if you don't want to go to the gym, do it at home. Just do something. You're going to see that if you take care of yourself, you're going to feel better just in general. When you feel better about who you are and what you're doing, you're nicer to other people. You're more accepting to what's going on around you because you're not bashing yourself. You're not always angry. Give it a run. And don't hate those who are in impeccable condition. You know, they, granted, they might be able to wear smaller clothes or, or might be able to, to, to wear a shirt that exposes their six pack. Hey, I get it. You know, they do that. If you don't want to look at it, don't look at them. But guess what? They earned it. You know, I, 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 would, I would venture to say if I had a six pack abs, I'd probably be showing that bad apple off. I'm not going to lie. I don't. Because I show off my girth as it is. Come on. Who wouldn't? You got to love this, Steve. Yeah, for sure. You know, my wife thinks I'm hot. Um, <laughs> There's a video and, on that. Uh, but, you know, I've, I've never noticed anybody lining up at the beach to see me take my shirt off. <laughs> I, I've never noticed that. I, I don't think anyone's doing it. I'm going, oh, I think he's going to take his shirt off. No, that doesn't happen. Uh, but my wife likes it when I take my shirt off. But it all comes down to, like I said, being secure with yourself and liking yourself or being insecure. If you're insecure and you're attacking people, it's not about that person. That person that you're attacking isn't the one with the problem. It's you. There's something inside of you that is making you attack someone so that you can feel better in some way. So, you know, before you shame anyone fit or fat, evaluate, uh, what's, what's inside you. And, uh, you're going to find the problem there, not in the other person. So right on. I mean, uh, you know, look, everybody be confident, you know, don't go out there looking to pass upon another person, something negative. There's no need for it. Just be you. You can become them if you want to. It just takes some work. I don't want to be the guy that's on stage. 
so I'm not going to do it. But I'm still happy. I'm still confident. I still grind it in the gym. Hey, were you on that Mr. Rogers show? No, but I should have been. I think you should have been too. Yeah. He should have had you as a guest. He couldn't find a sweater was, big enough. That was really a, good, man. Because I'm heavy. That was he couldn't some, find a was, sweater big enough. That was some really positive encouragement, brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Brian. Thanks for being with hey, us. Hey, everybody, take care. We'll see you.